<laughs> I'm trying to match the thumbnail. Hello everyone, it's Kathy Zilski. Welcome to my channel and my weekly live stream. Hi everyone. How are we doing today on this, well, this fine Thanksgiving Eve here in the United States? We celebrate the holiday Thanksgiving on, I don't know, is it, is it always like the third Thursday of November or fourth? I don't know, but we have it. And in fact, I just saw uh, Casey in California just finished her relish and I didn't do relish this, or I didn't do my chutney this year. Uh, oh, bonjour, Diane. Uh yeah, I, I normally do this really delicious cranberry chutney, and I, you know what? I didn't do it. And and you know what? It's fine. I mean, I could go to this. Well, I could go to the store tonight. I feel like, though, I'm the only person that likes it. Gina! Gina K, I'm using some of your stuff today. This is so great because, Gina, you know, happy Thanksgiving, Gina. Um, I was going to mention... I pulled some Gina stuff because I placed an order uh, a couple weeks ago. I got to show you. I got to show you my little Gina K um, pick and stick. I did get my replacement tip so I can use it again. Whew. Good days. Good days. But also I, I, pull, I ordered something from Gina's last release and that's what I'm using today. And I'm so excited because I've done this whole... Oh, I guess the French would say mise en place. I've I've done some pre-die cutting because there's just so much going on in this in terms of die cutting that I just didn't want this whole video to just be die cutting, you know? Um, but I am using <laughs> I'm using a new camera today. And what's awesome is, much like Gina, now I can say, excuse me if my head gets in the way. Okay. Um, okay. So anyway, Mindy's here. Vicky's here. Hey, Marcy. Hey, Marita. Yeah. It's great to have you all here. And oh, you are, you know what, Gina Kay? I didn't even pay her to say that. So she, she's amazing. In fact, uh, yeah, I've just learned so much from Gina and I don't know if you saw Gina's video today, but Gina, that was so cute. And while I'm talking Gina, she kicked off her Black Friday Cyber Week sale there is a free gift with purchase that is so cool. It's a it's a two-piece die set, a large floral with a backer shadow type layer. It's gorgeous. And you can check out on her channel the video because it's I watched it just before doing this because I just needed a, you know, like a moment of zen. But now, without further ado, um, and it's it's a short, you'll get in, you'll get out, even though we all want more Gina. We all want more Gina. Anyone? Is it just me? It's not just me. Okay, are you ready to see my table? And we're going to talk about our products. Oh. Okay, now first things first. Here's my head. <laughs> I have a new camera. I have a new camera and I'm so excited about it because I have been filming. Where, where is it? I can't even find it now. I've been filming with my iPhone. Where is my iPhone? Oh, here it is. I've been filming with this trusty friend uh, for a really long time and it's been great. And you don't need, I mean, this this little friend is proof. Um, this is how I started out and it's it's just been a long time coming, but I wanted to have something that was a little more updated, right? So that I could just come in here, start working and here's the best part of all. I got a, got a little remote control and uh, we can zoom in. And we can keep zooming in and keep zooming in and holy Charlie buckets. I mean, you want, when, do, when should I stop? Do you know what I'm saying? I don't, don't want to make you dizzy. So we're going to slowly go out. This is the best day of my life. Um, well, actually, probably when I had the births of my children might have been a top day. But this is definitely... This is definitely in the top five. So uh, I want to talk about this die set because I ordered Gina K Designs Fresh Cut Flowers. Now here's the dies that I didn't use yet. Um, and I just have, this is these two. But what I did here is I went ahead. Is it crisp, Gina? Is it? Oh, I am so excited. I just, I, I, I'm a tech nerd at heart. And uh, I don't know if a lot of people know that about me. But like, if you could see all the stuff <laughs> it's all set up now. Technology is my friend. Okay. Also, I have no 
things attached to me. I'm talking on a boom mic. Everything's good. So, okay, I have the fresh cut flowers and here's what I did. First of all, I do wanna ask you, how many of you were in my class this past weekend for Scrapbook and Cards Today magazine? Because these little trays, I had everything set up and uh, for my classes. And the French, in cooking, we, we call it mise en place, right? You have all of your things in place to get started. And so I loved it. And the reason I decided to do this, like I said, there's a lot of die cutting, but look at how beautiful these die cuts are. And I love how the way they cut, these are so delicate, but also they just, oh, oh, Mindy, you were. So yeah, this tray, check it out. This is from the Ikea Cavissel, right? These just slide in to that a letter tray and, uh, it's just the coolest thing for planning projects. And believe me, I got, I got some projects in line. So I did all this and I'm going to, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I have an idea, famous last words, right? Okay, so I wanted to do some die cutting first. And I also die cut this greeting, wish I could hug you, okay? Um, and there you go, Fluffy, you were there too. Yeah, these trays, I kept every one of my class projects on a different tray, so I just pulled it out. Well, actually, I think I did that for the uh, the live chat that I did, but regardless, right? And yes, Lydia, Ikea, Ikea is changing my life right now. All right, I have an idea of combining this with Gina's floral and then hopefully making some magic, okay? So what I want to do to get started is, I have so much cardstock here. So this is a piece of uh, matte gold cardstock, okay? And also welcome to everyone who's joining. Um, if you have never been here before, my name's Kathy Zilski, really easy to pronounce. Doesn't look like it would be, but it is. Um, and I'm really happy to have you here today in my, well, in my studio. I used to be in a dining room and now I'm in an office, but, I decided not to call it a crawfish because I just, the crawfish, you know, it's close to crawfish and crawfish are kind of creepy and I would have thought that every time. So that's why, that's why we didn't go with crawfish. But we're going to get started with some ink blending. Okay, now here's what I'm going to do. Move these little friends out of the way. This is a very delicate little die. Let's see, <laughs> you have to forgive me too because I'm kind of new to the zoom in game. But this is gonna take a little work to stack and glue, and believe me, there's, there's gonna be a lot of gluing. I'm gonna do some liquid glue, I'm gonna do some spray glue, but what I want to do is do some ink blending for my leaves, and let's get my leaf dies out here. There's one of them. Here is, oh, there's some of my hair. Here's another one, and here. Callie's here, hey Callie person. Callie, I got my camera on the ceiling. What? Okay, let me grab my little ink blending tray. See, most things are most things are pretty close um, to my reach, and that's what's nice. I I will I will be doing a a tour. I promise. I've never. Uh, yeah, it's coming. It's coming. But what we're gonna do first is we're just we're just gonna do some things. Okay. <laughs> I want to stay focused on the task because I feel like, see, if I hadn't done the die cutting first, I think it would have been, well, I think it would have been a little nuts. Okay. And look at it. Just, it's, and yes, it's, um, it's too late. Who did that song? The police. Oh, I was singing a song last night. Um, cause you know, I like to bring up songs, right? And, uh, I kept singing an old cool in the gang song. My husband's like, those aren't the words. And I'm like, well, I know they're not the words. I'm making up my own words. I was singing, it's too late, um, because I was talking about something it was too late for. And uh, it's I was singing it to the tune of, too hot, too hot lady. Remember that? Gotta run for shelter. Gotta run for shade. Yes, it's too hot. Anyone? Yeah, okay. So here's my thinking. I'm gonna actually start with my leaves today. And I am gonna use some of the Simon Says Stamp Positively Saturated Inks to do my leaves. And then we're gonna do this, but I wanna make sure that I have, you know, oh, it is a police song. Now I know what one you're talking about. <laughs> it 
getting a little sidetracked. Okay, let me get my paper towel roll out. I don't know if Mari Clark's out there today, but Mari, she taught me this. I used to just put it on the table to clean my brush, but you, you don't, you just bring your roll out. Just keep the roll handy. Gosh, I love this so much. Okay. Uh, and, and it's too late by Carol King. There's so many songs. All right, I'm cleaning my little brush. And I think I'm gonna use little brushes because I, I wanna have small areas to do this in, so. Every, do you know, um, oh my gosh. So my best friend, Tara Whitney, I have two. One is Molly and one is Tara, and she always calls me Encyclopedia Brown. She has called me Encyclopedia Brown for years because I have just troves of useless information in my head. And uh, one of the things I do have some useless information for you. Okay, first of all, let's just get our let's get our space figured out here, because I'm just going to make a background. But you know what I'm going to do, which might seem like overkill, but I don't think this is. I'm going to just put a little mask on here. Hold on a second. I want to be able to use. Uh, I don't, I don't want to go too far with my green, so I'm just going to give myself a visual. There we go. Okay. Anyway, the song, Every Little Thing She Does Is Magic. What was, okay, what is, there's a, you know, uh, every little, every, now I'm, I've lost my train of thought, but there's a, there's a line, there's a thousand, you know, at the end when he says, oh, a thousand rainy more or a thousand, now it's gone. Thank you, menopause. It's gone. There's, <laughs> we're just going to put some ink down. Let's just put some ink down for our leaves, okay? I'm blending. There, there's a line, every cake, wait, every cake you bake. He, 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 Sting name drops his own songs in other songs. That's my point. That's my point. And I'm going to move on. I can't believe that I can't remember which one, but there you go. Okay, I might not use more than one ink on this. But all I'm doing here is just bringing in a little green, right? We're just going to have a little green because these are going to be the backers to the detailed. I know, Gina, it is. It's like there's things that I just escape my brain. Okay, there's one. Perfect. And two. Um, I'll be watching you. Oh, gosh. Now, the police uh, are one of my favorite bands. We're of all time like that was my high school new wave music and the police and I actually dated agreed to go to the concert with a guy just because he had tickets to the synchronicity tour and uh we saw it at Seattle Center Coliseum and then when he dropped me off and kind of leaned over for a you know maybe a little peck on the cheek I was like see ya true story though you uh, uh you're a year later, I realized he was a really hot guy and I probably should have gone out with him and I, I didn't. And I'm not going to say his name because you never know. One one time, um, I don't know what I was doing, but a former high school boyfriend's current wife was a crafter and I'd name dropped him on a layout and somehow it got back to her and it was a whole thing. I That's a true story. I don't know all the details but I do know that's a true story. Yeah, I'm Encyclopedia Brown. Oh, Jennifer Spence. Great question. I'll pop you up here. So I bought a camcorder and also now I'm coming in. Oh, look at this is with Fairway. Just a little green to deepen at the base, okay? This is pretty messy. Um, I bought a Canon Vixia G50. So uh, it's just a camcorder. And I wanted, I had wanted to do this for a while because, well, people that I know, like Gina, like Mindy, like Christina, like Jennifer, they've all used camcorders for a long time. And, you know, they're, they're different than using a DSLR, right? Because I'm talking to you right now on a DSLR. I, that's my face camera. And so, yeah, so that's what I, that's what I got. And this, this is what we have. And. I think, I think so far so good. And the fact that you guys think it looks good, it took me two days to figure out how to white balance it, but that's because mama was hitting the wrong button. Okay. And it is Canon. Yeah. And Gina, I know that Gina had used that because I've, I've been asking Gina for years, actually, 
<laughs> Gina, I don't think, like every six months we'll be like, Gina, what camera do you use again? You know, um, and yes, this works great. Okay, let me get another brush. I'm gonna get my pink brush and my peach brush. Now, I don't know if this is gonna work, okay? Also, Kim, welcome. Welcome to the show. We're here. Um, I'm Kathy, and uh, I'm glad to have you. Uh, I'm losing my train of thought left and right. But um, yes, the new camera, hopefully, is going to be, it's just going to help me to sit down and work. Uh, just, and that's what I've been want, wanting to do for a really long time. Not have to, you know, take my phone and plug it in and make sure it's charged and all, you know. I want to be able to do live streams easily. And I also, I also want to teach more. I teach at events. Um, Gina and I teach at some of the same events. And it's really fun to teach live. And if you have a setup that's con you know conducive to helping you do what you want to do, I say good. Okay. Now, these are my leaf backgrounds, okay? So I can get as much of that blend as I like, right? And these are going to smooth out. So it's going to smooth out and it's going to look great. And also, I wanted to point out, I am actually live today. A lot of videos I do on my channel, I will do premieres for. Now, okay, here's a question I gotta think first. Um, but I love going live, because it's, well, anything can happen. Barbara, glad that you're here. So here's the thing, I think what I want to do is have the center of my bloom be the peony, and then I want it to kind of fade out a bit now we're only doing the one but if I if I don't like the way this looks um, and I'm just gonna protect that right there this is just a post-it tape um, then I then I can start it over you know what I mean uh, Cheryl Hyde that's a great question um, you know okay here's the thing you only the only reason you would want to have a different ink or a different blending brushes is if you're if you have dye inks versus pigment inks because pigment inks are creamy they are a different formulation. Um, for example, this ink I'm using today is a dye ink. Gina K Designs inks are dye inks. Concord and Ninth inks are dye inks, which are water-based inks. And so I don't usually change my brushes. Although when I'm using Gina K inks, I just use my Gina K brushes because then I know they're you know they're not gonna pick up anything that they shouldn't pick up. Um, but no, only if you're going into like pigments and oxides, then, eh, you know, it might be a little uh, easier to do, right? Um, oh, hang on a second. I'm reading comments and thinking, Sherry, the way I clean my brushes most of the time is the, the yield paper towel method, right? And if I feel that my brushes really need a good cleaning, and it's not, I don't know where it is in the new space, but I, oh, I'll, I'll show you. Actually, I do know where it is. Hold on. I'm getting sidetracked, but I think, nope, nope. <laughs> okay, can't, I can't find it right now. I have a brush cleaner and I promise I'll have it. It's called the Masters and uh, yeah, I clean it and it's great. So, okay, well, let's just do, where's my friend here, okay. Yeah, Mindy, I'm the same. I don't I don't wash my brushes. I just wipe them down. And here's another little tip. Like sometimes your brush might, if it feels a little crispy. Oh, Simon Hurley's here. The gang's all here. Simon, I got a new camera. It's over my head. Anyway, um, you just rub them on that a cloth or a paper towel and you're going to be good to go. Uh, thank you, Simon. I'm liking it too. Oh, we got Paula down in Bloomington. It's a beautiful day here in Minnesota. Okay, I'm going to just take this peony, which is a bit of a firecracker, right? So I'm going to tap off a little. And I just don't want to get too big. And actually, you know what would have been better for this? Well, it's going to be fine. It might have been better to use. Oh, I like that though. I like the way that's looking. I have little brushes from Waffle Flower that have like just kind of these little flat heads. And um, those could be, those could be cool too. People still, oh, there we go, we're commenting. Yeah, I was watching Gina last night. Sometimes I comment in the beginning and then I just shut up and don't comment because I just love, I love watching Gina work. Um, true story. That, I think that's what I want. Well, maybe a little, a little, a little softer. When I started card making 
and Gina, I think, knows this. Um, Gina sent me inks, and uh, which was so kind because, yeah, the only reason, Gina, I'm not using your inks is they're still downstairs. So they're, they're going to get hung on the wall this weekend, Dan promised. But um, I, used to, I used to watch Gina's channel, and here's the beautiful thing. I would just get into bed and watch two or three hours of Gina's videos going all the way back all the way back to basically when she started on YouTube because she has so much content, right? And I loved how Gina taught. And Gina, I this isn't just a love fest for you, but I learned so much about how to pitch a craft video and share the content. Like the way you would lay everything out. And that was just mesmer. Yeah, Stamp TV. <laughs> 1912. <laughs> Sorry, it struck my funny bone. But I oh, I liked the way Gina laid everything out, and she always made me feel like, even if I, I I'm I'm brand new at this, right? I'm a brand new card maker, and she made me feel like I could do this. And she laid it all out. And I'm telling you, it doesn't matter how far back you go in Gina's archive of YouTube you're going to learn and you're, yeah. So thank you, Gina. I love you. I, I do. That's, that's not just idle talk. Okay. We're bringing in our peachy. Oh, hi, Sylvia. Nice to see you here too. All right. Now I'm going around in the peachy. Now I might've needed to re-ink my peachy, but we'll see. Oh, it's a little pale. Look at that. But you know what? I kind of like it because what I was hoping is that this would kind of just have this soft, glowy. I am doing way more talking than crafting. <laughs> oh, I tell you, you know, I don't get out much, but does it matter? I, I have all of you on Wednesdays. It's great. So I do, um, I've got a question for you. Um, <laughs> how is the sound today too? Because I switched from using a clip-on mic to an overhead boom style. Um, and I watched a video to learn a bit more about what probably was better to do with it. And hopefully, hopefully I've got that set up. So this is just creating this kind of look, right? Um, oh, I just saw a question go fly by. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, Gina, what kind of mat? This is the Tonic Studios one. So it's magnetic and, you know, the magnets, it's, it's great for holding things. Um, I have the Make Art Station and then I have this. I actually have the logo covered up, which Tonic Studios probably doesn't appreciate. Um, however, I think I like this a little better because it is a lighter surf. It's a lighter um, surface. Good. Oh, good. Sounds like sound is good. Wait, is that Carissa? Is my friend Carissa Wiley out there? Hello, Carissa with the new puppy puppers. All right. Um, yes, I do stalk people's Instagram when they get pets. And Okay, I'm going to bring the pink brush back in because I want this to build out just a little. Oh, actually, look at this. It is Carissa Wiley. Hey, girl. All right. So that's all I'm doing. It kind of looks like a glowy... I, I don't know. It looks like a glowy thing. These are going to be, oh, did I get enough? Let's, I think I did. Yep, I did. So let's, let's multi-purpose with our tape, shall we? Okay. Holding that in place because this is going to be my background for my, my lead or my, my cuts, my detailed cuts. So here I want to get that nice, oh. <laughs> Here we go, a little tape there. Look at me, all this taping. I, I, I'm super excited to have all these people today. This is, this is fun, this is fun for me. And this is one of the things I will say about this community, never seen a nicer bunch of people in my life. And that's not hyperbole, that's actually real. Um, all right, let's move you. Now, we're gonna cut these out. Yeah, it does, it does look sort of geode, Kind of, but this will be fine. Take my brushes and put them. I have one of these friends. I, I kind of love these. And um, they're from Make It By Marco. 
And I saw Gina do this once, so I did this. I put a little roller on the bottom and uh, love that. All right, let's get that out of the way. All right, now I think, I think that's all the ink blending we're doing. So I'm gonna wipe up my mat and let's get the mat out of the way. All right, okay. So, oh, I keep a little piece of tonic grip mat underneath because it keeps it from sliding. All right, so now we're gonna die cut. Let me get my plates. I had seen someone ask a question. Now I learned this sandwich from Jennifer McGuire and I, um, Emma, please remind me to link the video because I timestamp the video where Jennifer explains this. Because when I started doing this, Jennifer's way, my plates just don't warp. I mean, it's, well, it's kind of, you gotta see it to believe it. Look at how straight these are. And I have been cutting and cutting and cutting and it's just crazy how well this looks. What you do is you keep one plate always clean and then you take one plate and cut into it. Then when it gets really mucky like this, you untape it, flip the green over so you get two sides. Um, I love my Gemini when I can because of my wrist issues. And that's just, that's just how it is. I do spell binders for so many other creative things, but because of <laughs> mama, mama's got the wrist issues. Okay. And that this plate sandwich has been amazing. Okay. Let's go to die cut cam. I don't know how long I'm going to keep die cut cam, but she's still there. She's still there. And for those of you who wonder, this little thing is not a Lazy Susan. It's actually called a rotating design board. It works great for the Gemini Junior. I would assume you could do something larger too, but I love that thing. That is, I know Simon Wright, it's, I got an extra iPhone, you gotta put it to work. I get, that is the number one question I get here on my channel. Uh, where did you get that? Lazy Susan. And I'm like, well, it's from Crafter's Companion. Well, it's a totally Tiffany Crafter's Companion. And uh, it's it's fantastic. Okay, this is a happy mail day too because I, oh, wait, well, this I love my pokey tool, but Gina, I don't know if she knows this, but I had stepped on my, my little wax thing and I was so sad because now I bought a replacement because Gina has replacements. So it's a happy day and I, I bought an extra because if things roll off now in this space and sometimes I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing, but look at how pretty just, just that is, right? Oh, I love it. Okay, there's going to be a method to this madness, I think. So I'm gonna set this aside. Well, hello, Joelle. I, I went to school with a girl named Joelle and I loved her. Joelle Broderick, she was, the, she was a hoot, man. Okay, I'm gonna take my matte gold cardstock. <laughs> Gina, it was, it rolled, so the whole tool rolled onto the floor. And then I, and I stood up and I heard a crunch and I, I looked down and it was just wax broken in half. It was a hard day, okay. Now I think because I have these kind of warm tones, well, I think that's warm, it, it is warm. Um, I'm gonna cut this out. Okay, can I tell you, can I tell you a little true story? Um, I asked Coleman if he would ever consider playing in the background just some acoustic guitar, because he's a musician. And uh, I said, because I always joke about, I wish I had a Tom in my dead space. Well, he said he wouldn't do it live, but he did say he would write a piece of music, record it, and that I could use it in my opening. I'm like, oh, that's so sweet. So stay tuned. Fingers crossed. Okay. We're gonna cut this out of the matte gold. And here we go. I don't think I linked this yet in the description, but here's the other thing I do with the plates. We're gonna take them and we're gonna flip them. What did I call the thing attached to the Gina K brush holders? Oh, it's it's from Make It by Marco. And it's a, it's a, it's a, what do they call it? I always link it in my description. And because they're great. All right. 
I know. Isn't that sweet that Coleman would do that? I hope he does because he doesn't want to sit in, in my dead space. Oh, look at that R rogue tittle. Let's get that friend. Okay. I, I loosen and then I pick it up because I don't want this to get lost. All right. I'm putting that off to the, off to the side. All right, now I'm gonna grab something here. It's uh, the Lazy Susan Turntable. It is actually in my description and it is called a rotating design board. Um, where did I put this? Okay, so it's not called Lazy Susan, rotating design board. Now, I'm gonna show you something. I feel really bad that this, this is unsourceable, <laughs> however, how many scrapbookers out there remember, oh my gosh, what was the company? Scrapworks? Was it Scrapworks? They did all, the, this was their logo and they did all those cute little metal embellishments. Well, they made a thing called a push pad. I've had this for 20 years and I love it so much. Any, yeah, you know this Emma, right? Isn't that cool? I, I've had it for years. It's just foam. Um, you can do this with a mouse pad and even though I don't have a link for this, um, I just, I love it so much that I thought I'm going to bring this up to my space. Also, I like to use the pokey tool. And here's the thing about Gina's pokey tool. It's, it's not super sharp. I mean, you could stab someone with it, I suppose, if, if you know, push came to shove, but you can push through your delicate die cuts and they're going to be fine. You're not going to, you're not going to mar it up, but I'm telling you this die takes me forever to get out which is why I did so many off camera, but the cut is just beautiful. All right. Um, yeah, it's not blunt enough to leave marks. That's a good point. Uh, basic gray had one too. Yeah, I still have my basic gray, a magnetic ruler. I have a lot of things from the olden days. Cause I, you know, I was a scrapbooker for a long time and, and never say never, I might, uh, I might go back to it. I mean, not, here's the thing. I probably will never go back to the traditional scrapbooking, but how many of you know who Lale, Con Lale Konkar is? Because Lale is an amazing instructor who taught at the event that I was at this past weekend. And Lale is like the queen of teaching about uh, traveler's notebooks, which are so fun because traveler's notebooks can kind of be whatever you want them to be. And this is truly taking me forever. But, um, that is a type of memory keeping that truly appeals to me. Okay, let's just shake it. Can we shake it? I tell you. Okay, the cut is so good. Oh, I love it. Okay. Oh, and then you can just poke it through. Okay, so I have my top layer. Now, this is going to be, well, this is where liquid glue is going to be very handy. I want to glue my friends together. So let's get, let's see here. How are we? Should we zoom in just a little bit? Telephoto, just a little bit there like that. Okay. I don't know where to start first, but there's there's a lot of gluing. Lail by mail. Yes. Uh, yes, Lancashire Lass, that is her. And she teaches a lot about traveler's notebooks, and they're very fun because it's kind of like anything goes. Like, you can take all your little crafty skills and kind of do what you want to do. Now I'm going to show you gluing two ways. Okay. The first way, oh my gosh, my eyes are bugging out is connect glue. Now I keep my connect glue in Gina's little squeezy bottles and I never get clogs ever. The only thing that happens is sometimes like there'll be glue on the sides and I always just scrape it away and I just keep a little pin inside and I just filled this up. So this is going to be great. So now talk amongst yourselves because <laughs> I, I can't, I can't look up while I'm doing this. Simon, thank you so much. Okay. I need a piece of paper. Hold on. I am thrilled to hear that it looks good. Also, Simon, just so you know, I am finally hardwired in. That's another reason I had to move up stairs because I couldn't deal with the Wi-Fi. Um, okay, I bring in my pink paper because my eyes are bugging out sometimes. And here's all we're gonna do. I'm gonna just, uh, well, do I wanna do top or back? You know what, we'll do back. All right, what you're gonna do with your liquid glue, the reason why this is great, once I get this going, you're gonna see a little tiny, oh, hold on. You know what I could do with this, Gina, and I've seen you do this too. I just gave it too much pressure. 
where you could drag it through something. But what I want to do is just little dots all the way around, okay? I use spray glue as well, but sometimes, I mean, and I will use some because I'm going to show you both methods. Spray glue is great, except it's just not forgiving, like liquid glue. And you, for those of you who've watched my channel, you know that putting a little dab of Connect Glue on everything I do is kind of my go-to, especially with foam squares, because it gives you a little bit of hydroplane, right? And it's just... It's so nice for not making mistakes. Because here's the thing too, and I had someone in my class this weekend say, Kathy, I, for the life of me, cannot get my die cuts lined up. And I said, listen, honey, listen, listen to mama. So it's taken me a long time to get confident with this. And even still, I still misalign things. I think you get better over time the more you stack things. And that's just that's just something I want to share to all of you. Hey, Tiffany, I'm just popping my head up here and seeing people. Um, yeah, so don't get discouraged. A die like the one I'm doing right now, this is not easy. No, I don't think it's easy to line up. Um, oh, Carissa, you know what's interesting? I have that glue, and I don't know how I feel about it because it is very watery. And I've used it a few times in wanting to, you know, have an alternative glue, glue source. Um, but I, don't, I just don't know how I feel about it. All right. Now, here's what we do here. This is, this is the hardest part. <laughs> you just got to, you got to, is my head in the way? Gina, see, I get to say that now. I'm going to drop this down and just work my way up. This is a huge die cut. And all these little letters, right? They all kind of, and you can tap it down, but now here's the beauty of Connect Glue. You can wiggle it right into place. And then if you're not perfect, you just keep kind of wiggling. So that's the beauty of a Connect Glue. Let me grab my block. Oh, here it is. Got my little comfort block and press. Oh, hair is on the die cuts. Here's the thing, Mama Rocks, you're not doing anything wrong. Sometimes, that happens to me too. I get little hairs. Sometimes you just might not have enough pressure. Sometimes you might want to throw in a piece of cardstock to increase the pressure on your cut. Um, because that happens to me. Uh, and I can actually see a few hairs. I call them dye hairs. And sometimes I dehair my dyes where I just take low tack tape and, you know, do that. But I, you know what? I wasn't going to do that today. So, um, thank you, Gina. <laughs> you know, there's some things I'm very good at. There's some things eh, not so good at. Okay. There's a lot of glue in here. And when I'm gluing, I'm not looking at your comments. So don't think I don't love you all. But I know there's conversations happening out there. And I love that. Okay. But see, too, once you get going, one of the things I do with my glue here, you just want to make sure that you're really paying attention to the ends of the letter forms, right? On this font, these are called the serifs, but because they're all flat, that is why this particular font is called a slab serif, because it's a type of serif that is flat and square. And this is just a font that I've used for pretty much all my word dies because I figure once I have a classic type font that I want, it kind of is like a basic uh, black dress of, of topography for me. It's got a little more style than like a traditional like times or something like that, but I really do love this. The challenge in designing products like this is we save money for you on how much it costs if we can make sure that fewer dyes are in the package. And so that is why we work to connect all of these letters into one word. And it's trickier than you would think. Lisa, is Lisa here? Lisa Hedrick, she knows. You have to, you have to tweak, um, you have to tweak letter forms. You have to do things that don't exist naturally in topography. 
Lisa Hetrick, by the way, designed all the products that I used in my class this past weekend. So Lisa, and I, I told you, Lisa, people loved them. And uh, it was a real pleasure for me. Okay, we're layering, well, you know what? Oh crap, don't do that. I don't even feel like you need tweezers here because the main thing we're doing, uh, oh, the point on my glue bottle, you mean this little friend? This is a bottle that Gina K sells. She sells them in a three pack. And um, it's really wonderful because this allows you to get a really thin delivery. Um, and yes, you got, Simon, you know too, you got to finagle that font a bit because if you don't, how are you going to get this all to join? Okay, now see it's liquid. So we're going to move, wiggle, wiggle. Don't worry about getting any on the hands. Come on now. It's really, this is the, I swear this is the hardest thing we're going to do all day. And for you all, you just get the stress of watching me try not to mess it up. But the other thing too is this glue dries clear, right? So I think that looks pretty good. Look at that. Bye, Gina. I love you. Thank you for coming today. Such a thrill. It really is. Happy Thanksgiving. Enjoy Rena's and Alicia's cooking because that sounds great. All right. I think this is going to take me longer than I thought today. I'm going to have a refreshment break. Mmm. It's LaCroix, by the way. It's a, little, it's a little too early for wine. Okay, I'm going to close this bottle for now because I want to show you the other way we're going to glue things together, okay? Oh, pick it up. Sometimes when you ooze, you get a little sticky, right? And you just want to make sure. There you go. Isn't that great? I love that. Okay, I'm going to fold this in half so that I don't use the glue. Oh, Gina does sell crystal. She sells big bottles. There's a big one that you can use to refill. Let me grab my spray box. Okay, my spray box is this lovely thing. It's a Simon Says stamp box. And I have been using this for a really long time. <laughs> you ooze, you lose. I mean, it's a mess. It's a messy, messy box. But I didn't often show this on camera because my iPhone was so, uh, what's the word? Way too close to the filming surface, but I feel confident that we can do this here. And what we're gonna do, you're gonna take your die cuts and we're gonna flip these over. You know how there's a right side and a wrong side? We're flipping them over so that the flatter side is here. Now, I'm still using the same tweezers that I use for, I, I call it gross stuff. It's not, I don't mean it to be gross, but they're just, um, yeah, they're messy. So I'm going to take my Elmer's glue. I'm going to shake this up a bit. And hopefully, I'm going to hold my breath so I won't be talking right now. Okay. got to do this off camera, but that's how we do it. Okay. And then all we're going to do, well, let's zoom in a little now that we can tell a photo. There we go. Love it. I, I know. Don't inhale. I did not inhale. Then all you do, well, I think we got this here, right? I hope I don't mess up. No, no, no. That's so easy to do. Look at that. This is another reason I love spray glue, but I'm not gonna show you up on up high on camera anymore because that's just not needed. That's that's just showing off. Um, oh, I guess they all kind of, no, 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 wait. Yeah, look at that. Oh my gosh. Look how easy that comes together like that, okay? Then press. And I'm gonna do this just off to the side, okay? I'm gonna drop it down on the floor because I just don't want those fumes I don't want you to see me choking on fumes. So now I have this, now I have this, and I'm gonna go put a little on the back, okay? Then I'm gonna get my tweezers. And, come here. <laughs> I can barely bend over, okay. And now, all we're gonna do is line this up so that we have a very gorgeous little background that looks like that. 
Isn't that pretty? Oh, so simple and press. Okay, so in that regard, for something like this, it's very fast, right? It's very, very, sa uh, very fast. Yes, also, Gina is having a huge sale. Um, there's a fantastic freebie, too, that she's got. Let me get my box. All right, I'm going to show you another thing that I do here. And I'm not, again, I'm going to spray it off to the side. But now, I buy this pink copy paper in bulk. And I just... I just flip it over when it's time to glue. But if that's sticky, I stick another sheet on it. And it literally becomes really big. Um, just a big, big mucky muck. So, oh, there's more of my hair. My hair is everywhere. Okay, I'm going to take these two leaves, flip them. And I'm going to put this leaf here so that I, well, you can't see. It's off to the side so that I remember what goes with what. And again, remember, there's a right side and a wrong side. Are you, and I'm from, I'm always going to be from the wrong side of the tracks. Just kidding, of course. We're going to get this, all right? And let me move my tray out of the way. I'm going to go ahead and spray and put you here and you here, okay? You can hear the spray happening. <laughs> oh, don't move on me. Oh my, there we go. Mm. Holding my breath. Now, I'm gonna take this and bring it in. Hold on here. This is a rather detailed card and what's funny is the end result is literally gonna be so clean and simple, but <laughs> spray glue ASMR, there you go. But sometimes clean and simple cards take longer than you think, and that's okay because I enjoy the process, right? I enjoy the process of, of creating, so I'm not too worried, right, with how much time I spend on any particular card. Because anytime I'm doing this, I'm, I'm having fun, you know? <laughs> Oh, yes, you do. You do know. Okay. And again, it's good to see all your names out there. I haven't... Oh, Yella Gnome, you haven't ever seen me live live? Is it? Is it the future tomorrow? Is it the morning in, in Australia where you are? I can't remember what part you're in. Is it Melbourne? I, I can't remember. Did I ever try using a mask? No, Susan, I because I assume you mean like the cool thing that Gina did. Uh, with her example, when that's that's what inspired a video that I did last week um, was masking over my masks because I saw Gina do that. And I thought, oh, this is just so cool. Okay, now I can't remember which is which here, but I guess it won't take long to figure out that that one. Yep. Nope. Wait. Yes. Okay. That one goes there. Yes. And that one goes here. Now, I could use liquid glue for this as well if I wanted to. I think I'm just going to really quickly do the spray. Again, just off to the side here. A little shake up. That's your ASMR for the day, my crafty friends. Did I do this upside down? Uh, yeah, I did. Okay, here's what we gotta do. Was not paying attention. Didn't flip it to the right side. Okay, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna redo it. Okay, there we go. That is, well, I've done it. We're not gonna redo it, I'll show you what we'll do. I'm gonna cut one more real quick. And we're just gonna have an extra stack. All right, maybe. All right, look at that. Isn't that nice? Glitter it. Amy, hey Amy. Amy, I got my lights. Well, not all of them. Uh, yeah, I just did that backwards. So here's what we'll do. No worries. No worries. Um, I have some scrap card stuff. See, this is why you keep your scraps. Actually, let's, uh, let's come out a little bit here. There we go. All right. Now, here's the thing. I'm going into a holiday weekend. I think I have the time to do this. What I don't know is, and we're going to have to figure this out, is which one is which. Because, is it that one or is it that one? It's that one. Okay. Real quick, we're going to redo it. 
we have the technology. We can rebuild him. Name that movie. Oh, Kelly, thank you so much. That's awesome. Appreciate you. Love the super chat. And I love Lee Majors. Thank you. <laughs> okay, we're redoing. Here we go. Pop, 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 pop. See, you didn't get to see this part before, but we're going to double check. Double check. Thank you. Thank you, Tammy Rose. Six million dollar man. When I was a kid, I told you, I think I've told you this before, but um, my girlfriend and I, Sabrina, Sabrina and I, I'm cutting out one more here. There we go. Um, we, we used to play the Six Million Dollar Man episode when uh, Jamie Summers um, lost all her, you know, wiring went all haywire. Uh, no, Casey, it was not, it was not a movie. It was a series. And it was a fine series. Oh, B, question. The swivel under my mat is linked in my description and it is called the Rotating Design Board. Rotating Design Board. And it's amazing. All right. See, if you make a mistake, you know what? Okay, Siri, no, please stop. She's doing it again. Um, if you make a mistake, it's no big deal. It's just paper, right? We just, we just got paper, so we're not going to get weirded out. We're just going to do it again. Yes. Thank you, Emma. It's, it's from totally Tiffany and it's actually meant to be a, uh, a board that you like. It would be great for like doing painting for those of you who like to, you know, go all in with your painting because the board rotates. So you don't have to rotate. Like you can just move the board around, but I use mine over here for my die cut machine so that I never have to pick it up, right? So great, love it, love it so much. And as I told you, it's the number one question that I get. Okay, let's try this again. Now, this needs to go on here and let's not mess it up. Hold on here. A little glue. I tell ya, there's always something. And I know I've had a few people ask, Kathy, can you do the edited down versions like Christina? And you know what? She's just, I think she's just more effective with her time than me. <laughs> I'm like, no, I can't. I'm so sorry. I got to move on. I got to, after the lives, I got to go have some cookies or something, you know? All right. Now we're on the right side. There we go. Okay. There you go, Kathy. You did it. You did it. Okay. So look at how pretty this is. I mean, this is not rocket science, right? But look at that. Oh, we'll get closer in a minute. Okay, wiggling into place, putting it under the brick, and press. Press. I do love that she does it too because, the, well, here's the thing. I love to watch Christina's live streams, and I try. I try to remember to tune in. Oh, I got to remember that I have... I have tittles in the distance, but we'll, we'll, we'll get there in a minute. Um, I like watching her live, but I also really enjoy the, uh, the replays that she does, but yeah. Okay. So now here's what I'm not sure of, and, and you can help me decide because we might have to do some cutting. Let me grab a panel of cardstock because I'm not sure. This is just to show the size. I know we have this grid here, but I don't know if this is going to be, uh, you know, we got to come up here. I don't know if we are going to need a larger card. I am just visualizing right now what this card could look like with the greeting. I mean, I kind of, I, I, it's not Jamie, I promise. Um, I, I will definitely put a thin foam square on this so that it stays because what I'm thinking, oh, I don't know though. I don't know. My, you know, you never know. Where did I put my greeting? Oh, it's over here. What I don't know yet is I think I'm going to need a larger card. I think I'm, should I do a five by seven? And here's the other thing. I need to cut a shadow layer for this greeting because I feel like it's going to need it 
because it has so much going on. Do you know what I mean? I think you do. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to slide this off to the side and I'm going to do this and I'm going to make a five by seven card. Now, here's the thing. I have no good selection of 12 by 12 pattern paper um, to make my own envelopes, which is really weird. Like for, well, and I'll tell you why. Um, Cause I gave so much of it away over the years, my, my scrapbooking paper. But yeah, we're gonna do five by seven. This is gonna be a whole thing. This is gonna be a whole thing. All right. But yeah, I I I have a my I have a friend, her name is Bethany, and she has a web channel, Bethadilly, and she and I did this fun little thing together a few weeks back. I'm not sure if you saw it, but um I'll add I'll add a link to it. How's that? Because it was really fun. It was really fun to do this with her because she's just a, she's a crafter who's really discovering card making right now. And I love seeing people um, who are kind of discovering the joy of it. Anyway, there was a point to my story <laughs> and I'm not sure what it was, um, but I'm going to glue this on too. Now, here's where I will use spray glue again. Where did the box go? All right, I need a clean piece of paper though. The reason, the reason I buy the reams is because of this very fact. If I'm going all in on spray glue, you do not wanna take your pretty shiny side and put it down on a mucky side because then you're just gonna be really sad when you realize that you just got glue all over your metallic. Yes, Tanya, this is one of mine and I haven't done much with it. I know I did a video and I made a really cute card and I'm going to link that for you as well. So Emma, I made something with this. I'm going to post that video. Also, after I fin, oh, well, maybe Emma. Oh, thank you, Emma. Okay. All right. We're spraying. Okay. I don't want you in my lungs. Okay. All right. Now check this out. It's so fun. Oh, oh, the thing under, or <laughs> Callie, you mean the uh, the thing under the brushes? I don't have that linked, and I could link it. I should link it because it's so cool. You glue them on. I I got the link from Gina K. Um, Gina has them. Why don't? I, yeah, I got the link from Gina, and oh, that looks good, doesn't it? Yes, it's a four-inch lazy Susan. Uh, and Gina got them on Amazon, I think. So let's bring in our tittles because they're titillating. See what I did there? I've got so much stuff happening here. All right. You got to remember those tittles. And when you do glue the tittles, where did I put my liquid glue? You want to do it um, separately rather than try to stack. Okay. Coming in here and a little, little dot. And then I will pick this up, this, and we're just gonna stack this way. One, I think that looks, yeah, <laughs> get in there. Is my head in the way yet? No, I've been wanting to say that forever. Um, <laughs> adding more, little dot. So let me ask you too, those of you who are watching What's the, does the lighting look good? Does this look real to you? Like, as opposed to virtual reality. And then you, then you find out that I'm actually a computer generated uh, being, and that would be fine. That'd be okay. I could use a little computer generation. Let me tell you. All right. The final tittle coming in for the landing. All right. And boop. There you go. Never forget, never forget. Um, well, Barbara, I actually would prefer if people can access my links below because that helps directly support my channel, unless it's something that I don't have sourced or that I'm unable to source. Um, so I would appreciate that. Thank you so much. All right, I'm going to get some cardstock. Now we need cardstock and a paper trimmer. Okay, so if I'm doing a five by seven card, let's come out a little here. 
I gotta think. Look at that zoom. Oh, there's see, there's no moving. I used to do it manually on my iPhone, and I'm telling you, this is a great day. It's a great day in the in the Zilski household. Okay. Um, another thing that I do a lot, and I just want to show you this, is when I'm done with my glue, I'll just just wipe it with a paper towel and get all the mucky muck off. <laughs> and I stick this pin back in. This came from my friend Carla. I'm pretty sure, Carla, I don't know if you're out there, haven't seen your name pop up, but all right. Now, having a bigger space, I think, is what is needed. So let's grab my paper trimmer. Oh, okay. Let's, uh, and here's the thing. I got to stand up for a second, so don't, don't, don't go anywhere. So if a card is five by seven, we're going to have five. <laughs> Help me with my math by 10, right? Five. No, 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 no. <laughs> five. <laughs> Sit. Wait, 10 by seven. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Took me. Kathleen, you just, math is not my strong suit. Okay, 10 by seven. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. I almost, almost went off the rails on that one, okay? Great. Thank you, Kathleen. Okay. See, the, the larger is a whole new world. Oh, now I remember what I was going to say. Um, I do, oh, and I don't have my new... Um, I have that new uh, Ulta new thing, but that's still downstairs. So I got to figure that out. But uh, I don't have much pattern paper to make custom envelopes. And I have, uh, I was inspired by Bethany. It's all coming back to me now. Uh, to start using my one, two, three punch board more to make envelopes. And the thing is, if you haven't like, if you've done it once or twice and you can't ever remember, all you need to do is just do like three or four in a row and you will never forget how to make envelopes again. Um, so I don't have the ability to do that today, but I think, I think I just might have to place an order. You know, whose pattern paper I love Vicki Booten. <laughs> Vicki Booten has beautiful pattern paper in 12 by 12. And, um, and so does Paige Evans. Like those, are, well, I love Paige. I work with Paige at Scrapbook and Cards Today Magazine. I love, I love her, just her whole vibe, but they have such neat papers. Um, I think that's good enough, right? See my little score? Okay, now fold you and let's press it with the with the uh, Teflon bone folder. Hello, buongiorno, Lisa. I don't know, did I just butcher? Oh, I must have had ink on my fingers. Good thing this is the back of the card. All right, now that is a huge card. Okay, coming in and let's bring in a little bit. Yeah, Vicky's paper is awesome. It's just colorful and happy, and it, well, it's a lot like Vicky. Okay, taping you down. That's that's what I do. I, I tape down so that I have lovely little way to keep this flat while I'm designing this. Okay, um, I need a little sip here, but yeah, I I it takes practice to get good at. The one, two, three punch board. Mm. But I'm going to do it. Maybe I'll do it as a little like Facebook live or something. Like I have a Facebook group. I don't know if any of you know that, but it's, uh, it's called cards with Kathy Z. It used to be clean, just clean and simple, but let's be real. This is kind of the only thing I do now, which is fine. I need to get some foam squares. And it actually could, it could be fun to just go live in that group and do uh, the envelope, but I would have to go shopping for some paper and I'm not going to do it on Thanksgiving, I don't think. Okay, so see now, oh, we need more dimension though. This is what I'm not sure, like I don't, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know how I'm going to do this yet, but this needs foam squares. So we're going to go, foam square, foam square. I don't, I don't have this sorted out yet. I just want you to know that sometimes I, I don't, I don't know. Uh, Ken Cole 19. This is a Canon Vixia. Not the one I'm talking to. The one I'm talking to is a Canon M50 Mark II. 
Mark II because the Mark I's, as I found out the hard way, uh, you can't live stream and have autofocus if you get a, a regular, a Canon 150, Canon M50, um, it leaves all the little things on there. and we, did, we didn't want that. But the big camera is a Canon Vixia, so. Yeah, I wanna get, I, this is getting very random. I want to do more with my one, two, three punch board. And so it's gonna happen. So what if I just did, I'm just gonna start moving a few things around, okay? Um, I do think, what I don't know is, do I just want that to be, I wanted this to have some overlap though, that's the thing. But I kinda wanted that to overlap. So I almost feel like, what if that bled off a little bit? This is where we don't always know. We don't always know what we're doing. Yeah, Mark II. <laughs> this, I also, I also wanna go on the record and say, there's never gonna be a guarantee that a finished card will result, but I think, I actually think I really like this idea. And I think what I need to do is get, hold on, another foam square. These are all from Simon, and I wanna see what the depth of this is. Is that pretty close? Yeah, that's pretty close. I am going to take, th this is getting crazy, but I tell you what, if I were giving this card to someone, they would know, Kathy really likes me. She's going all in, okay. And this is a long live stream too. But anyway, welcome if you're just joining, and uh, yeah, I'm gl glad to have you here. Glad to be live on this, uh, day before we go into our holiday here in, in the US. Now, so what I think I'm going to do, I want, I want this to be even higher. And so here's what we're gonna do. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have foam squared it quite yet, but here's a little, here's a little hot tip for you. And why am I using my fingernails for this? I have no idea. Jewels, not tools. Okay, there we go. There we go. Well, Petra, you, you've only missed an hour and 10 minutes so far. It's fine. You know, you're just coming in for the good part. You're coming in for the good part. We're rounding third. We are looking at home plate. We don't know if we're gonna get there, but I think we will. Okay. Anyway, I hope all of you do have a, a wonderful Thanksgiving, those of you here in the US. That looks terrible. What are you doing, Kathy? There we go. Uh, right, I need to pop this double. So here's what we're gonna do. We are going to make this pop up a little harder. Oh, a little bit. I'm sorry to hear that. You know, it's one of those things. It just stinks. Stinks getting sick. I don't, I, I honestly, I do not know how I have managed to not get sick. Um, my son said it's because I don't go anywhere. There could be some truth in that. Um, I've managed to avoid colds. By the way, this, this card is getting a ridiculous amount of dimension, but sometimes, yeah, it's gotta, it's gotta be. Oh, also TJ, there's aspects of your local, your local ISP could be throttling you. It depends on the time of day. Um, yeah, so. Uh, wait, what does that mean? Flag, you're starting to flag. Does that mean you're tired? Or does that mean you're, you're starting to uh, post warnings about my website? Oh, okay, here we go. I promise we're in the home stretch. Can you imagine that if I had decided to do all that die cutting on camera? I just remember the last time that I did a die cut heavy card on a live stream and it was, it was a little bit much. Okay, now check this out. Now, Oh, wait, 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 wait. Gotta take that off. I don't want that there. That's why I didn't have it there. Okay, Kathy, there's always a reason you do things. Now, we're gonna have that so it comes in and overlaps actually like that. Oh, I like it. And we're gonna put some gold on here. So, but I'm gonna move that. I'm gonna move that there. I'm gonna center you here, I think. I actually think I like that, right? It's kind of cool. Wish I could hug you. So the question is, 
you know what? I'm going to place this first. This is a very involved card, and if I make, if I, I mean, dimension-wise, I'm going to have to make an envelope that does have room for it. I, I don't know if I would send this. You know, have you ever done a card that was super elaborate? And you knew, like, I just don't want to risk doing this in the mail. And so what you end up doing is just putting it, like, in a mailer. Or, you know, you know what I'm talking about? Like a hard side mailer. And you're like, nope, I'm going to pay $2 to mail this thing. All right, here we go. little liquid glue, right, so that I have that wiggle room. And I'm just dabbing it up like that. Okay. Now I'm going to use my clean tweezers because I don't want the mucky muck on here. And let's see, where can I grab this that I won't stick anything weird? Okay. So I'm gonna place this first because I want to visually center this as much as I can. And I'm looking on screen right now and I think, I think that's gonna be great right there, okay? And then these can come out and that can come out. So now I know we are straight on the card and that's pretty close to center. I could bring this in two and see. Okay, how's that? Is that lined up? Yeah, it's good enough. All right, press. But you could, this, is, this has got some dimension. But you know what? I've seen people do cards with lots and lots of dimension and it's, it's you know, it's kind of fun. It's kind of fun. Now these are gonna get placed in last. And I I just love the color of that though. I think that's so pretty. So let's focus on this. This is just one foam square, right? We're not worrying about supporting this up. We're just gonna get this friend in here. Kinda get you, wait, where do you go? You go here, you go right, right about there. There we go, because I kind of like that, right? Mm, yeah, that's pretty. Okay, and then these friends are gonna go underneath. All right, Took, it's taken a while to get there. Tell you what, after this, I wish I had potato chips, but I don't, I don't. Sliding you under, right? And I'll get some lovely, sequins that will be gold and that's how we're going to finish off our card today. I mean I suppose there could be some sort of sub greeting but I don't I'm not feeling that I'm not feeling a sub greeting today. Pressing that down press oh see it's still it's still wiggling a little because you got that liquid glue which I love and that could actually tilt down a little too. Okay yeah, a sub greeting could be nice, but you know what? We're good. I'm going to grab some, what gold is this? I want to do, not you. I think we have, okay. This is, this calls for confetti, and it's a lovely little gold color. I use the pen blade when it's closed to do this, and just dump them out, dump them out. And here's what we're going to do. Let's get our... Gina tool out and pick up here. I feel like I have more room to do a little more sequin work. Well, sequin work. What am I, a costume maker? <laughs> Did I ever tell you? Do, you? do you know that I was a figure skater, a figure roller skater? A true story. I was. And uh, I, my mom, made all of my costumes and uh, yeah, she, she was quite good at it. I don't, mm, mm, let's come down here. Anyway, um, I have a video <laughs> that shows one of the very last meets that I ever skated at and uh, I was terrible. I fell, I was unhappy, I didn't have a single, I, I skated in all black because I was so depressed about being a skater. Anyway, Oh, I could totally send this to Laura Basson. You know, I have a Laura Basson card uh, here in my new space because she sent me a card a long time ago. Oh, come here. And I cherish that card. I cherish it. All right, we're going to do three gatherings of three. I just want to make sure. 
because that's a way that we're adding a little more to this card. Yeah, but it wasn't roller derby. It, it's roller figure roller skating, which is still a sport, which is bizarre to me that it's that people just don't know about it. And um, I did it for from age 11 to 17. It was it was my life. Skating was my life. All right. What do we think? Right? Because I, I don't think, well, shoot, maybe though it needs to be more like that. You know what I'm saying? Because then we get sort of that. I mean, it's perhaps a little off balance a little bit. What would you do? Would you do bottom or over here? <laughs> I was a skater girl. I said, see you later, girl. Yeah, um, I think I'm going to do this because I feel like... I feel like it needs this sort of pull on the eye over here. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do it. This way or this way? Wait, <laughs> thumbs, up, thumbs up if you want it over here. I think this is good, right? Or should it be back over here? To the left, to the left, to the left, to the left, to the left. All right, we're just gonna do it. Um, I actually wish I had another one of these to frame this out. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of, I kind of wish that I did. But you know what? We're gonna, it's gonna be good. We're gonna take a picture of it. I just wanted to show you how cool that die set was, and it's all on sale. Okay. Or you can, you can save. So let's use our glue and boop, boop, boop. Yep. Nestling in that open space right there, right? Because we don't want to trap white space. Boop. We want to create something going on in there, okay? And that's what we like to do. Boop. And boop. There we go. And I'll, I'll give you the pretty shot once you can see the shine, because right now they, boop, they just kind of look like dark blobs. And I, I promise they're not dark blobs. Promise that. Also want to thank you all for joining me today and letting me test out my new equipment. And that, that is maybe our finished card. I think it is. I think it is. The only thing I'm thinking, and I could be wrong, the only thing I'm thinking is maybe does it need a sentiment strip there? I don't know. I don't know. Let's zoom in here. Come here. Just a little bit more. Okay. That. You got the gold, see that? See how this is hitting there? I mean, it is cute, right? I just don't think, I mean, if I had one little thing here, it might finish it perfectly, but I'm gonna just, and here's what I, here's what I recommend too. You just walk away. When you have something done, you just walk away. This is a big card. Look at the dimension here. I mean, that's got a lot of foam happening. Yeah, I think we're good as we are. So that's our finished card project. Yay! This video went quite long. I thank you all for sticking with me today. I don't know if anyone, if anyone has any questions. Let me see what happens if I go to the comment cam. You know what? I don't think I can because I have not selected the proper camera. So no, com no comment cam today, but we'll zoom out a little bit here. There we go. Yeah, I kind of, I, I kind of like it. I kind of do. You know, I could, and here's the thing. I think when the video is over, I may try a sentiment strip. And in fact, he, cause here's the thing, I'll show you this. All right, let's just pretend, and here's the thing, I don't even know if I have the proper one. Um, and actually, so many of these dark colored ones would be a little much. By the way, I keep them all in these cute little pockets. Um, wish I could hug you. Oh, you know what? I'll just show you. Uh, recommendation for storing dies. Do you know what my recommendation is? I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to pop you over. Go to Jennifer McGuire's blog. Search that very topic because everything I learned about how I store things is from Jennifer. Um, my stamp and die storage is not in this room. I just don't have room for it. I mean, I have new things in here. But I don't have, I just, I don't have the room in this space right now. Possibly will um, as soon as I get someone to give me the go ahead to clear out the closet. There's a closet in this room in my office slash studio. And 
it could fit a calyx unit and that unit could store a lot of things. But, you know, I keep my sentiment strips in something like this and I don't even, well, I don't even have a label on here. But for example, I'm going to dump this out and see what's in here because this is one of those kind of sassy sets, maybe. Uh, okay, these are kind of weird. Uh, wish I could hug you. Actually, do you know what would be really cute with this? I'll show you. Something like, uh, wish I could hug you, text me every day. And the reason why that would be cute, if I were to give this card to my girlfriend, Tara, I'm just going to get that tape off there. Um, we say that to each other all the time. We say, you know, text me every day. And I'm, I'm just going to show you. I'm just going to show you what this would look like. Okay, where are you? Here you are. You know, I'm, I mean, I'm live. It doesn't have to be. <laughs> That's what's so... Here's what's so crazy about YouTube. You, like, you don't, I don't have to pay to do this. I can just do this. And I can upload things and I can talk for hours. I mean, I, you know, we could do a marathon. Oh, speaking of marathons, I am going to have a premiere for you on Saturday. And initially, I had it scheduled for uh, 11 or noon central, but I'm changing the time because Tim Holtz is doing some sort of holiday extravaganza and I don't want to miss it. So I changed the time to 10 a.m. Central and I hope you can join me. It's not a live, it is a premiere. Um, but yeah, I, I can't wait. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna hold that in place with my sentiment labels. Let's pop you here. And now I gotta move things because I, I can't, <laughs> I can't reach my, well, let's just get you over here. Oh, hey, Zan. Good to see you. We're going forever here. All right, coming back in. Now, here's the thing. Oh my gosh, it's going to look like, well, it's going to be a hot mess in here, but that's okay because I just want to see if this would be cute or not. And oh boy, don't hurt yourself, Kathy. There we go. Upsy daisy. Peel off the tape. Love that because it doesn't hurt anything. Now, what we're going to do is trim that down. Let me get these friends out of the way. I like these pockets because we, uh, we can keep all our little scraps in here. And sometimes I luck out and I reach in and there's like, oh, well, this, this greeting would be perfect. But hashtag snuggle life I don't think would work. I'm not even sure which set this is because I feel like no, it texts me every day is probably, yeah, I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll update my supply list after the live. Usually what I do is uh, I just take a few moments <laughs> to not talk to anyone and, and then I do that. But let me grab something. Okay. All right. I mean, and this might be overkill. This might not work, but it might. And this is what I do when I'm designing. I mean, I don't pre-design things. Uh, all right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop this little friend so it's right on the edge. I love my little guillotine. And I think, I could be wrong, but these were all back in stock again. And they were out of stock for a really long time, but wish I could hug you. Text me every day. And I'm going to pop it up. Let me get the pop up first and, and then you can tell me. I gotta get a strip of adhesive. I need to order more of this um because I, I love I love these Dury strips. So let's cut a piece and uh, distance from here. And again, this might get voted off the island. You know, I don't don't know. But I just felt like five by seven is a pl is a is a space that I don't work with a lot, and it might not seem like it's anything um, all that different, but for me, I just think it is. Okay, and now with that, I kind of feel like that finishes the card. Uh, Kelly Dubeck, you're exactly right. It it grounds the design. And you know me, I do like I do like a design to make sense. I don't want 
Yeah, no black edges. I won't do that, Paula. I'm just gonna let it. I'm good. I think I'm gonna go with the strip. <laughs> I know. Because when I am making a card, here, here's the thing. It's like, I know my recipient. I know who I'm gonna send this to and text me. That will just make her smile. It'll make her smile. And I know sometimes I hate to disappoint people. Bonnie says, no, thank you. And I, I know, I know, um, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. And here's the other thing too. You know, when you, when you, if, if there's so many ways we can make things and it's all good. It's all good, right? Oh, it's so good. This is why I, I really do. I love card making. Much like scrapbooking, it was a, it's a small canvas. Now check this out. I'm going to let go. I'm going to bring this in. Butt that up against the edge and just make sure that's straight. Is that straight? Yes. Yes. I think so. Yep. Okay. That, my friends is the finished card project. Okay, so we are officially done with just that one little thing. I mean, this has a lot of white space to breathe, right? And we've got, you know, a lot of white repeating on this design. I really do love the ink blend and you can see, look at how that's just smoothed out so nicely, right, in the color. Um, yeah, and this, this adds an anchor to the whole design and helps it to not quite feel as floaty, if that makes sense. So, oh, okay, and that's it today. So I would like to thank you for being here today. I will update all of the supplies within the next hour. Um, I hope those of you who are celebrating Thanksgiving have a wonderful holiday with family and friends, and we will be celebrating at my sister-in-law's and it will be the it will be the first holiday since my father-in-law passed away on October 30th. So it's going to be a day full of emotion and gratitude for his life and remembering him. So I'm looking forward to seeing all of my family tomorrow. And also, yes, um, I'm going to take some pretty pictures of this. It's actually getting dark now. That's how long I've been live. Um, I'll take some pretty photos. I'll post it in the community tab, except now it's going to be so dark. I don't know if I'll be able to do that, but I'm going to do the best I can. And also, I just want to thank you all for being here. Uh, again, Saturday morning, I'll have another video for you where I'll be chatting live during the premiere. Um, it's a craft haul. I didn't mention that. Oh, and my Gemini just died again. Oh, there it is. It's a craft haul video. I've never done one. I promise you this is going to be fun. It's not super over the top, but we're going to have a good time and get up. Well, a good time might be had by all. Anyway, have a wonderful holiday. I'll see you back here on my channel this weekend. Thank you so much for being here with me today, and I'll see you real soon. Bye, everyone. Thanks so much for watching today. I would love to have you become a subscriber to my YouTube channel. And if you do subscribe, be sure to hit the gray bell below the video so that you don't miss the next time I post. Here are a couple other videos that you might be interested in watching. Thanks so much and have a great day.